Having essentially won the 12-year Syrian civil war, President Bashar al-Assad has been on a diplomatic winning streak recently, capped by his nation's readmission into the Arab League earlier this month. One Middle Eastern leader not hastening to join their diplomatic thaw is President Tayyip Erdogan, who opposed Assad's regime throughout the war which ravaged Turkey's southern neighbour. But Ankara's policy towards Damascus now hangs in the balance. On May 28, Erdogan faces off in a second round election with challenger Kamal Kilic Durolu, and the polls look too close to call. The two rivals for the presidential palace in Ankara hold diverging positions regarding their neighbour, and so their contest is being watched closely by Syrians, both those on the street and no doubt those in the halls of power too. Of course, the Turkish elections are an internal Turkish affair, but we, as Syrians, are very interested on who will win because it has an impact. Currently, Syrians hope that the opposition wins so that the policy that was implemented in Syria can be changed. Erdogan backed armed groups fighting Assad during the war and at one time sought regime change. Additionally, he sent Turkey's armed forces to combat Kurdish groups, creating a security buffer zone in northern Syria. Kilic Dorolu's CHP party, on the other hand, have urged a more conciliatory line with Damascus and is seen as being more open to withdrawing Turkish troops from Syria. For many Syrian Kurds, this makes a preference clear. We, the residents of northern and eastern Syria, suffered a lot from the AKP government for its intervention and its occupation of a large part of Syria and its oppression of the Kurdish people. So we are in favor of the future president being Kemal Kalic Dorolu. Not that he is better than his competitor Erdogan, but there is bad and there is worse. The other major issue defining the relationship is the presence in Turkey of Syrian refugees nearly four million. Kilic Durolu campaigned on a promise to return refugees to Syria and said he would negotiate with Damascus to achieve this. While Erdogan's AKP party has made similar policy noises in the last year, prior to this it was more supportive of Syrian refugees. And for some Syrians, this is how the party is remembered. Regarding the election, I hope that Erdogan wins because it's good for our Syrian brothers in Turkey and their living condition and stability. They have been suffering for 10 years. If Erdogan does not win, it will affect them. There will be chaos and there will be a 90% chance that they will be deported. Wider regional events will rekindle relations between Turkey and Syria. But the pace that this occurs will depend on who comes out on top in Ankara.